figured out I was going to be an artist pretty early on uh, at different stages, you know, just kind of growing up. I kind of fell in love with this idea that, like, things that I could imagine I could actually bring into the world. I mean, I grew up kind of in between uh, San Francisco, California, and the Navajo Reservation during that same period, right? So I, there was a lot of kind of creative things spilling off into the streets. And then on the reservation, you know, there was a kind of a different sense about art. It, art was more kind of incorporated into everyday life. My grandmother raised sheep. She has a herd of sheep, shears the sheep, she cleans the wool, she carts it, she hand spins it, and then developed this amazing design without actually kind of drawing it out or writing it down, right? And so seeing that kind of uh, kind of broader perspective brought to something, I've, I've wanted to share that, like not just put the image on the wall, but like think about how to create a whole environment to kind of experience. I do a number of other things. I'm a, a sculptor, I weave, uh, I build installation art, kind of usually to contextualize the photography. I, I've been doing uh, this portrait project called the Critical Indigenous Photographic Exchange. It involves historic photographic process where I'm essentially making my own film and making a, a portrait of somebody, and, you know, after having a, a kind of short dialogue with them about that. And then I get to share the process of developing and processing that with the person. I, I'm using kind of a similar historic photographic process, photographing a broad capture of, of community, but, but also kind of with a smaller focus on Native America, just to say, hey, we're still here. <laughs> we're, st we're doing some really kind of exciting, interesting things. A lot of my work, I kind of think about things, you know, historically that have been, you know, problematic, like the way that Native Americans have been represented historically, maybe. And, and so initially, I'll, I'll frame a project kind of as a response or as a, as a potential solution for a situation. And that problematic history, I think, or legacy is something that's kind of embedded in, in photography. And it, it's something that I've kind of tried to think about and speak back to in, in a lot of my work and practice. I think art is absolutely essential to, to humanity. It's inspired a lot of people, you know, to spend a lot of energy and time. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think it functions in so many different ways. It sheds light on issues that don't get talked about, that need to be talked about. It provides solutions. I think it also just makes us wholer human beings. You know?